Team Kill Podcast. Intentional Strays. What is up, everybody? My name is Killing Spree 37. And I am Silencer. And we are the Team Kill Podcast, episode 28. We are very excited to finally have, you know, a little bit of video included in some of these things, you know? Silencer, Ooh, yeah. are you are you committing to adding your face when the subscribers start to, you know, get a little better? Yeah, buddy, we can do it. We yeah, can you, do you seem it. unsure. He seemed unsure, right? He seemed a little, um, I, I don't know. Not, well, first of all, I need to fucking buy a webcam and, you know. I, it'll, it'll be paid. It'll be paid, hopefully, you know, uh, subscribe. Somebody, some, somebody will donate to the podcast mm -hmm. and we'll get something That's figured funny. out, you know. Nice we'll little it out. fucking backdrop. That's right including no nudity you know <laughs> well, a little nudity huh we don't want to see you know <laughs> you know we don't you know we don't want to see your mom getting dressed in the kitchen <laughs> oh, oh. and shots <laughs> silencer before we begin let's do a quick rest in peace to you know i believe her name was soul right she was an esports player for call of duty she was on a uh the team called the jaguar says and her name is Ingrid yeah, Sol Oliveira, has been reportedly murdered by her fellow esports competitor. Uh, we won't even say her name, right? We'll say loser whenever we refer to her. Because uh, doing shit like that is completely loserish. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's different to kill somebody in a video game. Uh, but doing it in real life is crazy. A competitor, a fellow competitor. I don't know if they were on the same team or if they were just in the same uh, business per se, right? Uh, they don't really allude to what happened. Uh, there's really no moral that I can see, but it would be interesting to see um, what led to this. To try to prevent it, uh, apparently they met each other, you said, uh, a month? Or they, it was the first time they had met or something like that? You said something? They were just playing and then, you know, they would, so they occasionally made through playing, playing right. games and, you know, building a relationship. And then it came to a point, I guess, where they were like, yeah, let's meet face to face. Like a month later yeah. after they were playing for the first time. So, and yeah, this Acosta asshole did this. Loser! And you know, it's his, uh, he turned himself in and to the statement he said because he wanted to there was no um supposedly no there was a denial of mental affliction or he even reported that he was indeed lucid when he committed the act but also he's not taking word, like the i'm crazy mental health stand no. oh no, no. He, uh, okay just admitting it and regardless of what the situation is i mean you play with somebody online, you fucking build this little trust. Like, hey, you know what? This guy's cool. Because, you know, you've seen those quotes where it says sometimes you feel closer to those far away from you than the ones actually close to you. Right. And then look at this shit happens and, you know, it's tragic. It's sad. That's, that's like me meeting you and killing you. <laughs> <laughs> you, you fucker didn't Something revive like me, bitch, when I told you to revive me. You choked the 1v1. Like well, you know, she's a part of the Latinx community, so I want to say rest in peace. Uh, it sucks rest that you lost peace. your life like that, and we're going to try to put a little bit of um, attention to it to kind of add awareness so people just don't want to, like, meet people and kill them. And it sucks, yeah. you know, you know, because, you, you know, when you're playing esports, it's like you're, you're good enough to be on a team. Mm -hmm. You... You know, you're, you're, you're not your skill level, but like your, yeah, your skill level, your skill level got you to a place where a lot of people want to be and they're, they're not able to, you know, compete anymore. So it sucks to see that, you know, happen to somebody that probably would have had a good future in the call of duty. Young too. So man. it sucks to see that. Yeah. And young, young, didn't get to see life. You didn't get to see life. Nice. Young. Buddy. Can you believe that? Yeah. Um, Crazy. Yeah, it sucks, you know. So rest in peace to soul. And anybody that's out there, you know, you need to get help. You know, don't sit there and and ruin, you know, because the other person was an esports player too. He ruined it. Whatever he had, ruined. Uh -huh. 
ruined he ruined it ruined lives so we'll get away from that it's it's a little darker than we like to start but we'll go ahead and we'll just leave it there silencer how was your weekend they called me the crazy eyes this weekend and i'll tell you why because you got a little bit of a drift in your left eye yeah it's uh you know it's getting a little too crazy out here (laughs) (laughs) fucking guy hey uh, better crazy eyes than crazy legs hey well because Crazy Legs used to be like the handicapped guy. <laughs> remember the, the oh, fucking yeah, uh, yeah, break dancer? Yeah, I remember he used to break dance and fucking um, Don't Be a Menace. For real. Fucking crazy yeah. guy. All right. So continue, continue, continue. So the reason why I was nominated for this uh, Crazy Eyes nickname is I remember if I told you. I mean, if you remember if I told you last uh, that I got a nice little curve at the monitor. Okay, yeah. So... That sure is my eyes, and you know, if it continues to hurt my eyes, we're gonna have problems. It's nice, right. curved TV, and you know, it never happens on my other monitor, so something definitely weird about these curved ones. Yeah, the color, the color seems to be like weird at the edges, and when you look at it from different angles, it starts to match what's in front of you, but yeah. you have to keep moving and stuff, so it's not really like the best thing, you know. So, so you recommend me taking a run with it? Keep moving with the monitor? It'll get better? Yeah, move around or like I would even say so try level John. changes, you know? Make sure that you're like, because you're kind of, you're a lot shorter than I am. Like the top of my head is past the monitor area. Yeah. But um, my eye level lower is, the seat uh, down. is right in the middle. of. Is right in the middle? Yeah. Okay, then yeah, you're probably good. Just give it like a week, maybe like a week. Do you recommend jogging with the monitor on my side, buddy? Huh? Since you said you have to be I, I would use it as like a rear view mirror, you know, just kind of like Maybe a with the webcam bag? and shit. Yeah, you know, punching bag. Listen, I wouldn't do like that type of, you know, <laughs> shit. These monitors are expensive, unless you're making buku money. And they're fucking you know? flimsy because you know what? I, I touched a little bit on the edge. That thing fucking, I feel like I'm going to break it. Yeah, it's that's what I hear when you fucking... When you touch it, it goes, it rocks back. And my camera just started shaking. It rocks back and forth just a little bit. It's a magic um, ass disc. No, no, no. Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> so, I have an interesting story to tell you guys. And this has a little bit of a backstory to it before we get to the actual point. Yeah. Silencer made fun of me and when my desk. Know? Okay, but you made fun of me. This was, like, like, hateful. Like, you were legit thinking that I fucking... You know, didn't do shit. Silencer told me I got the cheapest desk in the world. I could have done way better. There was desks like this and that. I was like, you know what, whatever. It was for my budget, you know, for streaming and doing stuff like this. You know, I haven't really got my setup 100% done. But at the time, this was just to start. Okay. (sighs) So Silencer, the other day, sends me a photo of some type of stand or screen mount that he had and i was like you know what that's badass right and as i started to look um at the picture a little bit more i saw you were inspecting that his no i saw his desk and it looked like my desk so then i said take a picture of your desk it was the same exact fucking desk why are you so fucking hypocritical making fun of my desk when we have the same desk? Listen, I got mine from Staples, buddy. You know what to say about Staples? You overpaid. You overpaid. I went to I went to, I went to um All right, hold on. Let's Amazon. At, at I went three, to Amazon. Uh, at three. How much did you pay? Okay. How much hold did on. you pay? At three, we're gonna say that uh, the, the amount, okay? At three. Okay. One, two. Three, 120. 180. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I told you. Well, when did you buy it? When did you buy it? I bought I it in 2019. It. Oh, I bought this maybe close to seven months ago. Okay, okay. Well, inflation <laughs> or deflation, I guess. Deflation. <laughs> deflation, inflation. The value of it dropped. I got it when it was probably brand new. And you got it, you know, when it was a little loud. It It was nice, you know, nice, nice boxed up, untouched, 
a virgin someone no said. mine got hurt so i'm not going to show people because my desk is a mess but mine came with a chip in it right on the left side and i tried to return it right because a buddy of mine said on Amazon? uh that he complained about a desk of his being damaged during shipping and that it was too much to send back to them they just went ahead and sent him another desk right and he, and they gave him back his money so they gave him a de- they gave him this desk they offered to send another desk and they gave him back his money so he took the money and the free desk right what the fuck okay that's what i said right that was unheard of you know that was really bad one? what's up from amazon from amazon yes so um I tried to complain about it and they sent me to their email because they were just a third party deliver people. And I ended up just keeping the desk. It's not a big fucking deal, you know, but I've, I've definitely done more damage building it than I did, uh, you know, fucking unpacking it. So, mm. so but who are um, they now, buddy? Huh? Well, I just don't like the fact that you were just hypocritical. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I was hypocritical. Because if you guys remember, I think you said this a couple of times, even on when you used to stream, you were like, you know, talk to me when you have your $9,000 set up. I mean, <laughs> so you said you paid one twenty for it. So you, you're, you're almost there. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I didn't overpay. That's the thing. Buddy. So if my setup, so if my setup is nine thousand dollars and yours is what like what, six years, like sixty dollars less, so it'd be like eight thousand nine hundred and forty. Crazy <laughs> idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, besides the little desk issue, uh, my weekend was pretty good. You know, we're in March. Oh yeah. More oh, games yeah. are coming. We're like a month away from Far Cry Six coming out allegedly. And wait, um, wait. It's been pretty good, you know? I've been having a pretty, pretty good week, and nothing really too crazy, just finishing up, you know, uh, a few things for the for the rest of the year. I'm very excited to unveil a few things uh, that have to do with the podcast, that have to do with my channel, and everything is in the works. I, I, w- I will talk about things more, but once it's done and in my possession to talk about, I'm going to talk about it. Yeah. So until then, you know, you guys are just gonna get a little humble me. Hey, you know just what? Enjoying I saw, my weekend. You know what I saw recently? You know, um, I just decided to bring this in because we we're talking about monitors. So, right. I was uh, I turned on my TV because I was gonna do you know some watching, um, just random shit. And you know, I I came across something that I used to watch as a child, which was wrestling. Like, too. okay, okay, and uh, you know. It was cool back then because you used to see the wrestlers, the people interacting, fucking screaming, getting out of yeah. <laughs> And And um, so I, I took a, I had to double check and look at the screen again to see if my eyes were, you know, were giving me justice. Because, you know, the whole monitor, I don't know if I was seeing things real. So what I saw was an arena packed, but not with people. With fucking monitors with a Zoom call, watching the rest of us fight. <laughs> yes, yes. I fucking lost. Wait, it. I was like, bro. They used to have fake people Standing in me? the stands. No, they used to have like paid actors that were in the seats, right? Yeah. Okay. So the, first they had cardboard cutouts, like the fucking video okay. game. Okay. <laughs> like the video game. First they had cardboard cutouts of people that they paid. They were paying like a hundred dollars. And uh, well, it started off empty. So they were fighting empty in the empty arena. And then they would fight in the stands with the chairs and shit and make a huge fucking mess, right? Yeah. Then they went to cardboard cutouts. Now they're doing the LED stuff similar to what the NBA is doing and the NFL. Mm-hmm. Um, listen, COVID. <laughs> you you got to do certain things with COVID, buddy. Stupid. You got to do certain things. In COVID, that you normally wouldn't do in real life, like, right? Do you remember that um that game um shut your mouth? Yeah. Okay, so whenever I look at the background, it's literally what I see pixelated, fucking random ass boxes in the background. 
Right. I'm like, God damn, this was this is what I'm. You want to hear doing. something that's w- worse? What? They're probably paying money to be in there. That you know what? That's what exactly my thought was, and I was about to search how much is a fucking Zoom call ticket to watch fucking SmackDown. It's probably expensive. Listen, I wanted to go to wrestling, right? Before this COVID shit, uh-huh. I was like, yo, let them come to the Pepsi Center, do a little cool event, you know, take a little road trip up there. Not to like, because I'm not like a fan of wrestling anymore, you know? Yeah. It's, a, it's the experience, you know? You go, to, you go to baseball, basketball, soccer, you go to those to get the experience, you know? Huh. And I always wanted to go to a wrestling event. I just didn't want to go... Now, you know, as a fucking adult where everything's all fucking cheesy and tacky, nothing extreme anymore, where people were jumping off of ladders and shit. So I still want to go, but I'm just not going to pay. Listen, if we have to pay, right? If you want to pay to be in there, yeah, nothing over 20. If you're paying over $20 for to be in there, fucking sucker. (laughs) Okay, so here's uh, on Ticket Zoom, right? Okay. All you okay, you have the numbers? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So for ticket zoom for row where is it? Row AA, which is front seat. Uh-huh. All right. Okay. Guess how much per ticket? Is it triple triple digits? Three digits. Three figures. Wait, no, yeah, it's three figures. No, three, three, okay. three numbers, three numbers. <laughs> okay, yeah, three figures. Um, I'm just gonna say a hundred bucks, hundred bucks, three hundred and seven for the fir- for the front row Zoom call ticket. Yeah, that's what it says. Hurry, that Damn. must be some bu- nah, that's some fucking bullshit, bud. <laughs> That's some fucking. You tell me I can be on a fucking Zoom call like this, bro, just sitting there promoting the pod. Yeah, fucking three hundred dollars. I'm not fucking doing that shit. If you're doing that shit in chat, you're getting ripped off, buddy. That's fucking weird. Can't hey, be, these can't be real. Hey, numbers. send me the fucking video of them zooming in on a phone call, and I'm gonna fucking Photoshop your shit there for half the price. For real. You were there in my <laughs> book. You were there. We're not fucking doing Zoom call. Fucking. T- what kind of shit is fucking, that? It has to be fake. I bet you they have. Uh, probably fake. I bet you they have like a uh, like a policy for clothing, like a uniform policy. Yeah. Nothing, nothing that promotes <laughs> other <laughs> things. Like you can't wear a fucking TNT fucking or TNA uh, thing, uh, shirt, gear. That shit is wild, bro. No, nah, we're not fucking doing that shit. Would you do some shit like that for like? I wouldn't. Even- would, like for like driving and shit. Would you do some shit like that? What do you mean driving? Would you do that shit for like driving? Like, for, like if you were fucking going to go see a race or something, you'd. If I you'd was a little Zoom call, for no, I wouldn't do a fucking Zoom call for racing. It's just the experience is not there. It's not the same. Fucking just watch it at your fucking house. Right. But Listen, I, that is like going. These these tickets were a to like off. the movie theater. That's like watching a movie on your computer and Zoom calling it, and then just them putting you in there in the movie theater like you were there. <laughs> <laughs> kind of shit is that bud we're not doing that shit in 2021 i'm sorry it was, no so apparently hold on there was two different tickets now the ones i found were they were for 2022 wrong ones now I found the actual virtual experience okay okay so the other ones i guess um they're planning for whenever COVID ends so you, legit okay 300 dollars for front row seats okay if you want to be there personal physically now okay. For the virtual for the virtual experience, New York has them for fifty eight dollars a spot. Now, Texas, and depending on it, somewhere else in the depending by state, it, it ranges from ten to forty dollars. <clears throat> See, ten ten to forty sounds right. Yeah, that's like a Twitch donation, you know. <laughs> that's ten to twenty is not that bad, you know. Anything mm. above twenty, yeah, I feel like it's just, it's just stupid. It's just stupid. Yeah, much. Oh, I'm gonna pay three hundred dollars and hopefully they pan the camera to me. Nah, we're not doing that, bro. Fuck out. Oh, here. look, so, WWE stars virtual experience. Your home theater to meet the fans. I mean the uh, 
the, the wrestlers. So, <laughs> so for them to, you know, be like, hey, how you doing? Thank you for coming out. Let me see your face. Like a meet, like a virtual meet and greet. Yeah, 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 exactly. Perfectly. $478. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that price. No, no way. <laughs> we're fucking Brock Lesnar looking at the screen like, oh, hey, what's going on? Thank you for watching. Hey, buddy. Man. I got to go. Yeah. Fuck that. Hey, buddy. Nice to, nice to see you. Thank, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for your support. I'm to get a better camera. No. It's all blurry. Get a better. <laughs> hey, can you donate me a camera? <laughs> fucking... Millionaire wrestler, can you give me a fucking webcam? Fucking charge can you give silencer a webcam, please? <laughs> please. That's wild. <laughs> Listen, that's we're we're hopping <laughs> off the subject, but that is wild. So if you're paying for that shit, let me know in the comment section so you're I can make fun of you personally. Okay, you can be a part of this next segment we call Rapid Fire. Silencer, are you ready? Yeah, buddy. Let's do it. Rapid, Rapid Fire. Players ready up. Three. Two, one. This fool Caesar tried to steal the name of Elon Musk, baby, because he thought it was a social security card number. Headshot. What the fuck is it? It's, it's a weird ass name. It's like it's like symbols, numbers, and letters. That's all I, I know. Hoping, I was hoping it would work when I was filling out my application. <laughs> Denied. <laughs> this fool looks like Max Payne when he shaved his head. Headshot. <laughs> hey, hey, Max Payne. Listen, Max Payne Three. Even though it sold terribly, it was one of those games. Okay, leaving that there. <laughs> uh, Silencer was one of those losers at the arcade that will play a racing game and put it on manual instead of automatic. Headshot. <laughs> Only girls drive automatics. Listen, but in a video game. <laughs> It has to be realistic for you too. No, the video game is gay. I'm that. I'm not that kind of person. Ah, uh, well, mm, now you are. Or in my book, I? you are. <laughs> in my book, you are. In my book, you are. <laughs> yeah, well, you know whose book you are. Fucking respawn used you as Gibby's character model. Headshot. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking guy, I hate you. Game over. Game, game, over. game over. Game over. No more jokes. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> jokes of March the 1st. Listen, I'm feeling a little groggy. Okay, I ate a lot of salt. Okay, you can, if you can tell in the video. I look dehydrated. I'm dehydrated. I'm drinking, like, I've been drinking this fucking water. Like, crazy. I'm just dehydrated. I ate a lot of salt. I ate a fucking popcorn like I was at the movie theaters. Damn. I had a fucking Damn. sandwich. The sandwich had bacon. Like, <clears> oh, my. So, we have a jam-packed episode for you guys today. We're going to run through it so it's not too much, especially with the topics that we just had last episode where it was a little bit longer. Um, this one tickled a funny bone of mine because I've heard every single politician from now until maybe like the earliest 2003 yeah. bitch about Grand Theft Auto. And this was a little bit funny to see because not only are they deflecting and saying that this might be responsible for people doing certain things, but it was also the murder capital blaming video games. Okay. Isn't it funny how um, when this subject comes up, it's always GTA. That's, that's the only game they fucking you know when there's more violence. Well, I've, I've seen people say like um, Call of Duty has uh, inspired people to enlist in the army. Um, and as a person, let me tell you, I did want to enlist in the army back when I was a lot younger, uh, not because I had any type of military, you know, I wanted to be in the military. I wanted to shoot guns. I wanted to shoot guns. Okay. It wasn't like, no, 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 no. I have mine. Okay. I have mine. Okay. I don't know about you. <laughs> it was, it would have fast tracked you from, you know, having it, but I wanted to shoot. I wanted to shoot guns. Right. Yeah. And one of my teachers had to break it to me that I don't I don't take kindly to uh, authority. So she had told me not to enlist. So I took her advice and I was like, yeah, you know, maybe it's not for me. But okay. I do have a feeling that certain games have certain things that could definitely help people make decisions. Do certain things. Yeah, make decisions. You know, make decisions that they're not really too proud of. Psychological 
mindset, brainwash, hypnosis. Right. Something like that. So a Chicago lawmaker is proposing a bill to ban the sale of violent video games like GTA after carjacking rate rises in the city. Now, what, like I said earlier, the reason why I think this is funny, okay, because Chicago at one point, Chirac, yeah. was the murder capital of the United States. Mm-hmm. Don't you think that it's funny that they're trying to ban the game because of carjackings and not because drill members are getting okay. rocket launchers and fucking guns that the army should have and fucking killing each other with them? Yeah, it's all focused on fucking carjacking. That's the number one thing. Rondo Perfect. number nine, okay, a rapper from Chicago, one. had a fucking rocket launcher in a photo and was arrested. <laughs> but but Grand Theft Auto wants to stop it. You know, our Chicago wants Grand Theft Auto to stop it at carjackings. Yeah. I don't, the hypocrisy is real. So how do you feel about this, first of all? It's retarded. It's like people saying... Hey, let's ban all fucking shows and movies that are violent. Why don't they say that? Ooh. You know? Only right. Games. And I think they say that because I guess games are targeted towards um, younger generation, which I guess they feel like they'll sponge more of that behavior, which I understand. But, I mean, it's not. It hasn't been scientifically proven that, you know, it's uh, <clears throat> like it. People who do certain things or certain actions, certain crimes. Right. It's not like, oh, yeah, I'll definitely fucking play GTA. Lock them up. Well, the thing is, too, is that these games have a uh, ESRB rating, okay? A lot of the younger people shouldn't even have the games. But because of parenting being a lot easier and... um people like i said last episode where we were talking about pewdiepie saying kids were able to subscribe before they could walk yeah. uh kids are very hands-on with technology right we give them shit to distract them when we shouldn't you know we should were we we were born when the internet and the technology were barely getting up there yeah now they're born with all that shit already made you know they don't know what a psp is they know that the nintendo switch was the first psp you know so they were born with iPhones. Yeah, they were born with iPhones, you know, straight out the fucking womb with a fucking iPhone 13. So, you know, <laughs> and some of these kids have their own Facebook channels or Facebook pages and um, uh, Instagram fucking, yeah. uh, ch- uh, fucking pages, you know. They have their own little thing where you can <laughs> follow them and see where they were growing up and shit. It's always their fucking parent talking yeah. for them in the third person. My mommy knows exactly what I love. She loves me very much. And that fucker just like sitting there fucking drooling all over his pillow. Can't even fucking keep his head up by himself. Anyways, I'm digressing. <laughs> um, so it's, it's hypocritical for me for them to say that it's um, a game that's influencing people, right? Mm-hmm. Because it's it's like saying rap is doing. You know, why why can't rap be the victim? Why does it have to be a video game that's called Grand Theft Auto? Because they just want something to blame for because... It's easier that way on a community that, you know, it's not going to fight back. Yeah, wait. But this is, if the, if the number is true, I don't know. It was like the 700,000 person that wanted to ban GCA no from way. its entire existence. 700,000 other fucking mm. people tried to ban GTA or wants to ban it, but they weren't able to do it, you know? It's wild. It's a work of fiction. It's a work of fiction. It's a video game. You know, it's, it's, it's simple as that. It's a work of fiction. You can't blame a video game for people doing certain things. That is fucking wild. People are stupid. Yeah, 700,000 700, people. I can't get it to my head. Like, why, why are you blaming a fucking video game? You know, like those, those mass shootings of the... Like, they had no... You know, they they blame it on the fucking games, too. Like, no, it's it's far more than that. Yeah. So, the next thing that they should try to ban, right? And this is another topic that I thought was interesting. Yeah. Um, While you have people taking or having an influence on people 
maybe allegedly stealing cars or killing people, owning guns, rocket launchers and shit. Mm. On the other side of the spectrum, you have the people that are nonviolent. Don't go out too much. As a matter of fact, they go out so little that they start getting these jobs in Grand Theft Auto and role playing. And a person in particular, a Twitch star, uh, is actually quitting GTA RP after in-game job becomes too much like real jobs. What? This guy, I don't know exactly what the specific details are, but what I know from seeing a bunch of random Facebook uh, lives of people gaming, showing me stuff, is that they could have jobs inside of GTA that are kind of like real-life jobs, something that an uh, NPC, NPC would have, right? Which would be like a cop, a fucking paramedic, a Uber driver, a taxi driver, things along that line, right? So from what I was reading, that this guy, uh, Soda Poppin, Chance Morris, um, says it's started to feel like a real job, right? So he was streaming a lot, a lot, a lot. So they were doing like eight hour shifts in the game. Like they were actually, you know, taking lunch breaks, taking their 15 minute breaks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when the they would hell? go to the bathroom, they would turn off the camera and they would go to the bathroom. Um, what game is this? But I, I've seen people, it's GTA. It's GTA would, modded for online. There's another game that I've seen on the on YouTube where there's, I don't know, have you seen, I think it's like virtual reality. And they're like soldiers inside of a fucking restaurant ordering food and fighting. No, I've I've seen something like that, but nothing nothing that like and really stuck like, out like this. Imagine later on in a couple of years, fucking everybody's gonna be in the virtual device and that's gonna be their job and and like their life. And it's like what the fuck? Right. That's wild. It's only wild to me because people were doing eight-hour shifts, streaming, and probably getting way more money doing yeah. that than they were at a real job. You know, you're not really getting paid that much. I'm pretty sure a donation, like three $5 donations in 10, 20 minutes was just as worth as you working at an actual job. Yeah. So I thought it was a little bit ridiculous that they have such an influence to you know steal cars but it's motivating people to work in the game not as a developer or work in life as a non-playable character doing non-playable character things being a cop and and making sure the community is nice and straight A, a paramedic a fucking store clerk fucking a stripper come on now we gotta draw the line at something you know Imagine These are video games. And choosing to go to work in a game. <laughs> no, just imagine calling off your real job to fucking go to show up to your fucking <laughs> shit. Fuck, I'm going to be late. Let me call in. Let me turn my nah. monitor on. Hey, guys, I'm on. Nah, come on now. We got to be real. We got to be real, bro. That's fucking ridiculous. We got to be real. We got to be real. You're fucking stupid if you're playing video games and working and and working. These were designed to be fun, and you turn something fun into work. I have to be a fucking dumbass. I'm sorry. Like the next, like the dumbest thing would probably be like dating in there. Imagine dating. Oh, let me go fucking date this. You know what? A funny story. If we're being real. No, wait, wait, wait. If we're being real. There used to be this computer game. I don't know. I don't know what it was called. It was my first experience of ever computer gaming and stuff, right? And I'm gonna tell you, this is why you gotta watch your kids on these fucking computer devices and shit, because this shit that I'm about to tell you is like next level, like I've never told anybody this, okay? Okay. Sure. They used to have a computer game called IMVU, right? IMVU? I M V U. Okay. And for those of you that don't know, it was a computer sim types of thing where you could dress up your character, you could make them 
Um, you can go into virtual chat, shit like that, right? You can have your own house. It was like the same as but on the computer. Okay. A lot of the older head people that listen to us know exactly what I'm about to tell you, okay? Mm-hmm. This game was not made for children, okay? And here's why. One, you can chat with the people, right? Mm-hmm. A lot of the chat boards and chat messages were heavily sexual, right? Mm-hmm. In addition to, this was the era where Chris Hansen hadn't even came out as How to Catch a Predator show. So you could be having, you know, a conversation with somebody that was a girl in the video game, but wasn't a girl in real life. You know, there were a guy trying to get your location and trying to, you know, yeah. get you. Try to get you to send your location and come in there and fucking clap your cheeks. Now, I used to message a lot of people, right? Yeah. And there's like a darker side of that game where it used to be able, like they used to, the girl used to pin you on the bed. And in the message board, you could type in all the fucking dirty shit that you were supposed to be doing and people were getting their rocks off, okay? Now, I participated in such a thing, right? <laughs> okay. Not knowing what I was getting into. So, I added a fucking Facebook person's... Uh, was it Facebook? No, this is back in like MySpace. MySpace. MySpace, right? I added the person that I met on there, right? Mm-hmm. In my knowledge, you couldn't tell me this bitch was fake. Right? Okay. Then they were like... There was some type of like audio shit, right? In the way, so I, I censored the um, like the audio voice chat for like PlayStation or whatever, and it was a fucking guy, bro, fucking guy, the deepest voice of all, talking about hey, you know, you know what you look like. <laughs> describe, fuck? describe yourself to me. <laughs> what are you wearing, Jerry? <laughs> Give me some chun chun. <laughs> Listen, so it was a scary experience, right? I was terrified. What was your first? I was terrified. That was my first time, like being in that type of situation. I was terrified, and yeah. I had no, no, like, um, mental you know, awareness. I was about uh, under ten, like ten, ten to ten to twelve. Yeah, yeah. It was about 10 to 12. So that was my first time ever hearing some shit like that. And I wasn't used to like like catfishing. You know what <laughs> it reminds me of? Remember the movie from Disney that was like the first the first kid? Where he was like the president's son? First kid. Well, there's he got he got some security guard fired, some uh some um what's that? Um Secret Service guy fired. Right, and he starts messaging people, and there was a chick on there, and he messaged the chick, he's like, "Hey, let's meet at the mall." And it was a guy that was fired from the Secret Service, and he's trying to kill the president's son at the mall where he told him to meet up. What the fuck? Right. So that was like, I saw that right, and I put two and two together, and I never hopped in that shit again. Right. It's it's probably dead. It's probably still around. It's I M V U. Okay, that's the fucking thing. And I, I, wow. keep your kids away from it. So I say that to say this. It's 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 difficult to say where people were getting into like jobs and doing realistic stuff, but there were also other stuff where people were living their lives like the Sims and not doing things like that. You know, they weren't getting paid. They weren't doing real jobs. They were just fucking playing Sims and pretending they were living their life lavishly in yeah. the game. I just don't see how people were complaining about this being a, a video game and them treating it like a job and showing up like it was a job and and doing jobly things for for pay, actual pay, because they paid you, right? They paid you per hour what job you had. You know? So if you were a cop, you got paid $20 an hour. And that money would go towards bills, rent, gas, all that type of shit, right? Mm-hmm. So I've seen a few people do it, and I'm just like, they, they're they doing exactly what I was fucking doing. They have no idea. 
what the fuck they're doing. They're just doing random shit, and of course they fucking feel like it's a job. It's fucking wild. A hundred percent wild. Doing that shit. Yeah, I just it was. It was it, to me. It was like now looking back at it, it was hilarious, right? Yeah, it was funny. But before, like, I was terrified. I thought I did something wrong. Because I haven't everybody. told anybody that story. This is the first time I've ever told anybody, you know? Oh, well, I hope that guy yeah, will that's wild. listen. <laughs> he uh, he, he, follow, he followed me through my gamer it. tag. Listen, my gamer tag has been the same for years. Yeah, he's all following me. Hey, killing spree. Killing, I don't... I don't I don't like what you said about me on the podcast. I'm going to be like, oh, whoa, report. Get everything out. Chris Hansen, do a fucking Zoom call, buddy. (laughs) Um, So we'll get off of that, right? So I don't think I got your perspective. So would you do something like that? Are are you into like those role-playing type of games? No, they're just, I don't know. Ever since I was a fucking kid, I'm just fucking... Built different and weird. I never got into. I don't know. Growing up was a weird one for me. So right. I never really near a TV or a computer. So I, I really didn't have access to all this kinds of stuff. I got my first flip phone when I was in fucking high school, and I got it because my parents started to get worried I was in fucking doing gang activities and shit. Right. They wanted to check up on me in case something happened to me. I could just call them quick. And, right. um, I don't know. I didn't, just the thought of fucking talking to somebody and then being that way, you know, not f- seeing them in person. is just, I don't know. It, it, it's just, it goes over my head. Like, I don't know. Listen, just listen, guys, you got to think do. with your head and not with your dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I was doing. That's all I was doing. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't there for even. fucking friendly. I'm... I wasn't looking for friends. I had enough friends. I was still in school. You know, I don't need friends. You were looking for that exotic Zoom call, buddy? You know, you're just (laughs) looking for your, yeah, you're looking for your first baby mother, and, uh, you know, you might have found her. (laughs) 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 He might have, he might have found him or her. (laughs) Not sure what the pronouns were now, but yeah, fuck that. So we'll get off of that. Uh, It was just, you know, don't. There's there's a difference between streaming games to like become a YouTuber and have fun playing games, and playing a game and working a shift <laughs> to pay bills in game when you can play normal GTA and buy a house. You know. How do you explain that to your fucking partner or your parents? I gotta go to work, and then they just fucking see you sitting on your couch. With the- right? No, no, it's 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 just, it's, it's all overall, It's a dirty situation. I, I'm just gonna leave it alone. Because I feel like we spent too much time. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's 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 not for everybody, you know. Especially not Whatever for me. Your pickle, buddy. Whatever floats your boat. That's it. Whatever floats your boat. Okay. Uh, E3 2021's live show has been canceled, according to LA Tourism documents. Now, I want to go to one of these E3s. I've always wanted to go to. I always wanted to go, right? A TwitchCon or a E3, right? Because they show you the best games. The environment is always like game heavy. Um, it's oh, it's like it's um, it's a gamer's thing to go do, right? Yeah. Now I was a little disappointed because I was planning a trip to go to Los Angeles, and the time frame of doing this plus that, I would have been perfect, right? Even mask, you know, I would have wore a little bit of a uh, protective gear. Um. I'm a little hurt that they canceled it, but, but, you know, because of COVID and what type of event this is, it's usually packed, you know? So they're canceled. They don't know what they're going to be doing right now, but I thought that maybe because it's canceled, the show would be a lot better. And here's why they're going to get right to the shits and show you all the games, right? Mm-hmm. It's going to motivate some of these companies that um, might have not had the perfect person to represent their game and or give out a cool, you know, a cool little speech. Now they can send in the video. Uh, they can 100% they can get it spot on. And you won't have moments like when Keanu Reeves came out for Cyberpunk and he had to do it again. Oh, yeah, true. So 
Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to what we're going to see for E2021. Um, I, what do you think they're going to show first off? You think they're going to show, you know, like a Kratos, God of War type of trailer or gameplay? You think we're there at that stage yet or not right now? No, not right now. I think that most of the stuff it's going to show maybe some of the games we've heard already, um, especially focused on PS5. But I don't think right. God of War is... Not, maybe a small super short trailer possibly within the middle of the end but definitely not an opener right no and um they had the the state of play we can get into that too playstation had the state of play uh e3 would have been across all systems and they would have had some like nifty things into the future right we might have gotten a, a far cry uh six uh in-depth like release date because right now they're in limbo, but I'm hearing that it's next month. I'm hearing it's June. So it's kind of, you know, hit or miss. Um, the state of play, we'll talk about that real good. Because I was excited about all the stuff they had. Uh, Fantasy, Final Fantasy remake. Okay. Okay. That looked interesting, right? Nothing too big. It was, it was uh, a remake. I'm not a real fan of the remakes. It's supposed to be coming out June 10th, I believe. So the remake is coming out. Sifu, which I thought looked hilarious. It was a kung fu game, right? And it had decent graphics, but that's not what got me. When you die, you become older and more wiser, and you don't make the mistakes that got you killed. Okay. So that looks pretty interesting. And I think that was about it. Other than Returnal, which is pretty good. I might do a stream video of that. Uh, nothing else really caught out my mind. There was actually a game I wanted to play with you, though. It's called, like, Knockout City, which is like a dodge brawl. Okay. Which is like you fight with dodgeballs and shit. So, other than that, they really didn't show you much. And um, they didn't really give you, like, the juicy stuff, like God of War. So, I'm hoping E3 would be able to cover that type of stuff. So, um... What do you think about the Final Fantasy remake? You know, I've I've never played a Final Fantasy game in depth. Right. I I remember playing for the fuck for maybe for the PS one. Right. And I played a couple or maybe a couple of Same, minutes. same. And same. you know, I like the whole vibe of it, the whole idea of it, but I never really got into the game. So I can't really, you know, put my honest opinion of saying this is trash or this is dope as being a remake. Now, right. as far as in general, every remake, whether it's this title or different titles, you know, because I purchased the Mafia remake. Yeah. And the original just fucking felt way better. Let me tell you that. It might have been like the uh, nostalgia. Like, I think like that's like yeah. um, when they came out with The Godfather. Like it's, I don't think they're going to do any type of remastering, but... The Godfather, when you played it, it was like, fuck, dude, like, these graphics are <laughs> nice, these graphics are great, yeah. and then if they come out with a remake, it's like some of it gets lost, they start to, like, take out things that they feel they might have made a note about, like, hey, I don't want this in the game anymore, let's take this out, yeah, let's take out yeah. this mission, yeah, let's take out these clothes, they switch the character model, uh, let's switch the dialogue, the dialogue said, oh, are you a wise guy to, you are a wise guy, you know? Yeah. It's just something little little changes that they do and they don't tell you about. Um, my thing is with the remake is that uh, it's it's I'm getting tired of the remakes. You know the Resident Evil remake, the fucking Final Fantasy remakes. You got the Mafia, like you said, the remake. A bunch of remakes. They need to just make original content. Um, I'm not a fan of this Final Fantasy. The last one that they dropped, I was more of a fan of when I played on PS One. And when they dropped it, it looked pretty fun, and I thought about getting it. But with the channel that I do, I don't think it's going to really mesh well. So I kind of stayed away from it. Uh, but I remember playing the first, like, the one that you played, and it was really fun. It was really yeah. fun. Uh, with, I just can't get to the, um, like, the chess Pokemon type of fight, you know? Like, oh, use this attack on this person. Boom, oh, yeah. they took 500 damage. I don't like that. I like to attack the person, run around, Whenever and do shit like, like that. Him. Yeah, whatever you wanted to do, you're not just standing in one spot fucking doing chess moves and yeah. trying to defeat the person like that, you know? 
Uh-huh. So their state of play really didn't have much, like I said, but it did have a few things in there that I thought that was pretty cool. Other games included the Five Nights at Freddy's, Soulstorm. You had the Kenna, Bridge of Spirits, Deja Vu, and that's really about it. Ultra, uh, Ultra Void and some other fucking cooler shit, but it's definitely the Sifu one, the Knockout Brawl, the Dodgeball shit. Looked pretty Fun, fun. And um, Returnal. Other than that, I don't think it was like really 100% showcasing what they're probably going to be coming out with. These are just probably talking on the surface, the, 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 the okay ones. Right. The other one, let me tell you, the other, because um, they had Dodge Brawl, they had another game called Destruction All-Stars. Mm. That game oh, yeah. was it's kind of fun but trash. Is it? That's wait. That they, was one. They of the tried fucking... to sell the game mm-hmm. for seventy dollars. This game is not worth more than twenty, <laughs> and it's free. <laughs> right now, it's free. And now they're going to charge twenty. Or yeah, now they're charging twenty, but they wanted to charge seventy, and it's free. Or it was free last month for PS Plus members. Oh yeah. It it was it wasn't really worth twenty. It wasn't really worth seventy. I think it's just they they were hyping it up because it was one of those titles that was going to launch with the PS5. Yeah, but it, the way that they released it for free was better than them fucking selling it because yeah. they would not get a single fucking dollar because nobody's buying this shit mistakenly uh, for any type of fun game. It's it's so stupid. It's just it's funny. Excuse me. It's funny, but it's stupid. I remember you were like, hey. Yeah, it fucking downloaded. I was like, bro, I don't have a fucking PS5. <laughs> I had no clues that it was a PS5 exclusive, so. Yeah. Fuck that shit. Um, we'll finish up the topic here and finish up this episode. Uh, Pokemon celebrated their 25th anniversary, which led to some exciting news about uh, a few games that they had, including a free roam type of game. Uh, first off, did you... Like, ever play Pokemon? I mean, we might have talked about the popularity of Pokemon. Uh, but have you ever played Pokemon? Like, I'm not, a, I'm not like a big fan. A big fan? Just of card games in general or just that? No, just, I don't know, the, the whole Pokemon universe. I'm not a right. big fan of it. Um, that, yeah. I was only with Digimon. Yeah, so when it comes to, like, to Guardian Digimon and Yu-Gi-Oh! Were, were something that caught my attention more than fucking Pokemon ever did. Right. Um, Pokemon just feels. So, I don't know how to explain it. But it's just, it's just for me. It's not it's for like, me. It's like it's like kiddish. It's not really like it's not fun. You know, like again, it's like the system of fighting. Oh, you got to do like smart attacks only. Flash it's like home. a card based type yeah. of game. You know. Yeah. So yeah. this one is a is um. It's Pokemon Legends Acrius is finally innovating on the formula fans had gotten tired of after 25 years, which is a open Pokemon world. Um, it's, 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 I'm hit, I'm hit or miss. I'm not going to play this game because I really don't play stuff like that. The graphics didn't look that well. It looked like the Zelda type of game, just reskinned for their type of content. And it's too little too late. It is too late. Now with the the Pokemon Go, this would have been a perfect thing to have, right? Where you go out into the world, you walk, you get these Pokemon, and then you upload them to your system. And you could have the Pokemon there. And then you can go to do online play and battle people and stuff, right? That would have been the better idea. Oh, yeah. That's what, yeah that's what my feeling was, yeah. <laughs> now that they have the, the uh, Sword and Shield shit i don't really like the fact that they did it this way i feel like it's too late and if the graphics were better i'd buy it but you know it's lucky for them that they the the pokemon people they don't really care about stuff like that they just care about certain little things like um what type of pokemon and and certain little uh, added things yeah just stupid shit like that right but they could have done a lot better but finally people are getting the game that they always wanted which is out. Pokemon world game, open world game, 
And I can't wait to see the reviews on it because I wonder if they were 100% wrong or if they were just taking advantage of people and all this hype that they're getting from streamers. True fans. Yeah, I'm just wondering if they're getting, you know, hype, you know, for the for the streamer. Because streamers are uploading fucking videos of them opening packs and shit. And it, it's kind of weird, you know? Oh, I've seen they are so many. Now, hey, let's fucking do a live and let's see what I get. It's fucking... I don't know Pokemon, I'm telling you. You know, when right. I was younger, people used to say fucking Pokemon was fucking sat- satanic and all that shit. <laughs> right, nah. It's, it's fucking satanic. Nah, <laughs> it's, it's not. People are just dumb. I know? used to hear that so much from, especially from the older, and I was like, what the fuck? Like, right. that was the only no. thing, because, I don't know, maybe because of the characters and shit, for some reason. Right. Nah, just be, people are just dumb, bro. They're just Stupid. dumb. There's no excuse for that. Uh, we've got a, two more topics. We'll rush through. Like I said, guys, I haven't been feeling that well. My energy is not there. I feel dehydrated, but I definitely want to fucking sit there and finish this episode. Uh, BioWare is ending development on Anthem after over a year of overhaul stuff that they had planned and will instead focus its resources on Dragon Age and Mass Effect. This game had a f- two co-workers that I used to work with in a frenzy. First off, they spent over $100 on the collection stuff, right? Massive when it first came out? No. Um, uh, what the hell? Anthem. Okay. It was supposed to be like um, a EA's version of Destiny. Oh, okay, okay. So then they started wasting almost their entire paychecks on this game for in-game items, right? And they bought remotes specifically made to play this game. And after the first week after reviews were saying the game was terrible, the game was terrible, they kept telling me, no, it's good, it's good, it's good. It just needs uh, a lot of work, right? Yeah. Then they started to talk about um, how much money they had spent. And now reading this, and I can tell you 100%, that game was trash. <laughs> I said this back in 2019 that the game was trash. It wasn't worth getting. And people continued to say that the game was good. And the views on that got so low for people. Yeah. The overhaul and all that stuff, they stopped doing it. So the, whatever people were waiting for has officially stopped and is never coming. Damn. Right. So I saw this and I thought of Cyberpunk, right? Uh-huh. Cyberpunk, because of their hack, they can't have a certain patch go out until they figure out everything and make sure they don't have it, the source code in the fucking patch again. Yeah. Or well, whatever the fuck happened last time where they were trying to fix it. Um, uh, they pulled the plug on it. And the first thing I did, you guessed it. I messed with the people that I knew from my job and was like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> um, really? Yeah, how's life? How's life? How's, how is everything going? Oh, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's good. It's good. Yeah. How was that uh, those $2,000 you spent on Anthem going? Ah, oh, fuck you. <laughs> the game was good. They just needed to overhaul. It, it was one step, one one patch away from being the best game that it could possibly be. Yeah. Fucking two years later. <laughs> Nothing These happened, guys boy. did not want to play Apex with me. Dollar. They wanted to play Anthem. They feel so fucking stupid, bro. Fuck them. <laughs> wow. Hit them up just because of that. So they, they decided to do uh, more Mass Effect stuff and Dragon Age stuff, which I 100% support. Uh, the Mass Effect... Uh, remastered version is supposed to come out and hopefully with the remaster they're supposed to have another one um, I think it's Mass Effect 5 or 4 that's supposed to uh, come out on next gen consoles and that'll be very interesting uh, Dragon Age I'm not a huge fan of have you ever played Dragon Age? I haven't played to be honest with you Dragon Age or Mass Effect right I haven't played any of those games Mass Effect is, is pretty good it's uh, story based mixed with a bunch of free roam stuff and they have some shit that's like, I want to say it's um, 
it's it's like a like a Star Wars type of game. A lot of story, a lot of pick and choose what you can and can't do, uh, choose your own ending type of shit. I've always seen it, um, like the cover and shit, and I've had the curiosity of getting it, but I just never got the chance to. Well, you know, oh. it's coming out for remastered, so you might be able to catch a a title for something a little cheap. So and next gen consoles, you know. If I get one. Next gen console graphics. Well you you should get one. You should get one. The fucking you should get one. Fucking you should get one. Me. I don't know if you will get one, but you <laughs> should get one. Yeah, well, you know what? It's not up to me, it's up to fucking dumbass PlayStation fucking not hurting up the problems and giving it to the fucking scalpers. Mm, or you could just buy it from the sc- from the scalpers, yeah? Buy yeah. it from the scalpers. <laughs> No maybe, way, maybe, maybe you can, you know, get it for 50 bucks more. Maybe yeah, but oil cool. for the fucking PS5. You think they want that? <laughs> switch, <laughs> hey, do some free mechanic work for them. They'll probably hey, switch you. I'll switch your water pump for the fucking PS5. Come on, buddy. I'll rebuild your uh, transmission for a PS5. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, and then we're on to the last topic, and then we're about to head out by camera for some reason, fucking cut out. And it came back in, so the video is going to be somewhat incomplete, but at least you guys have a general idea. And the other podcasts aren't going to be a little lackluster for my end. I feel like I fucking, I'm just so groggy, you know? Yeah. Fall, I, I ate too much salt, is what I did. Um, Mysterious Street Fighter 5 player dominates tournament and then donates the winnings to charity. What a guy. Nobody knew who the hell this guy was. I might have been online because of the COVID stuff, so they wouldn't really know who the fuck it was. Uh, but you can imagine the, um, it was probably like one of the top players. They probably got the fucking shit and they just donated the money. I could see like a yeah. Sonic Fox yeah. fucking signing under like some type of alias. So like they would let him in and he'd fucking kick ass and take all the money. <laughs> yeah. But he donated the money. That's the difference. He donated the money rather than keeping it and being caught. So now that he donated the money, it garnered like it garnered the attention. Like, who was he? How much was it? Ah, uh, it doesn't really say. Let me see. It can't be that much. I can see it being like twenty, twenty thousand. If it's a good tournament, it could be. It could be one of those cheek ones. It was uh, to get in the tournament. It was yeah. It was just under a hundred. So by saying that, if it was probably if it was a big pot, then yeah, I can, I can see big numbers. But the question is, how much was it? Let's see here. Because all I'm reading is nothing about you know, the total price, which is interesting. Yeah, it was about. I think it might have been a hundred bucks. They said it was a pot, so uh, he won six matches straight. And then uh, in the Discord, he said, donate mine to the homeless. And the organizer asked him, are you giving away your placing? He said, yes, to the homeless and whoever needs it. Mm, good job. And followed it by a good night. He I paid it good. forward. I don't know how much it was. They said the pot, but if it's a Discord tournament and they got this type of idea, you think that there'd be a lot more money, like maybe like $1,000. But either way, he did something and he donated it to people. And... People in need, the homeless, you know, especially during the times in like Texas or here where it's all cold. Yeah. Um, yeah, you did great, buddy. So good fucking cool. job. Playing we game. will end it there. For a yeah. Conference. You know, he did something, you know, some karma is going to go his way. Some good karma. Hopefully, you know, hopefully he gets a PS5 or Xbox of his choosing next gen. Mm-hmm. So um, that's about it for my end. Like I said, the episode was a little bit later than normal, because uh, you know, fucking, it's when 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 a Sunday hits, there's usually a holiday that I just hate that just like goes in there. Last Sunday it wasn't that really. You know, this last Sunday it wasn't the case. I actually had a fucking blast, but the thing is, it fucking landed on a Sunday when I yeah. did the podcast. So and I just ate a bunch of food, and I'm feeling the after effects of it today. So, <laughs> silencer, do you have any messages? For the people. Yeah, I do. You know, to beat the unemployment scenario in your life, 
turn on your PS4 or 5 and work on GTA. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> and remember, guys, if you're going to do that type of work or you're going to participate in that type of field, remember to give in your two-week notice and uh, get rid of your system. And with that being said, guys, my name is Killing Spree 37. I am Silent Sir. I'm out! Kill, 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 killing Spree 37! Give me some John John. The champion of the world! Killing Spree 37!